Good morning, everybody. We're at Chick-fil-A because we got in the mail last month a free breakfast item for January, February, and March. So it's February and now. They have, a, they have the healthy option. Yes, yeah, so we got a grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. Here it comes. That was the most ridiculous annual pass holder entrance ever. Usually it's like equal. equal, or sometimes it's even faster to not do the annual <laughs> pass holder entrance. But just now, did you see the, those crowds? That literally we just walked up to it. And the other ones were like probably a 10 minute late. And Chick fil A breakfast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Solid. We're meeting up with Jordan and Robert. They have flight of passage. 9 a.m. Fast pass. Um, so we're going to go meet them in Pandora. Yes, by the time we get over there, they should probably be getting off the ride. Right? Yep. Perfect timing. Okay, now we've waited in ridiculously long lines, but this is absurd. Here's the flight of passage end of line. And I'm hoping, but it doesn't look like it, I'm hoping it, it just hasn't fed through the entire queue. Where did it start? Did you hear that girl with the hat? Oh my god, but it's all the way here. Oh my god. We waited all the way in Africa before though. But I'm wondering if this goes into Africa still and like back out. Or if they haven't done that yet. Um, the details in this place are insane. Usually we're too overwhelmed by just getting off the ride. <laughs> we don't really look at this So stuff. it's like nice that we're literally like just taking our time, looking at every little detail like camping stuff, camping stuff. Little Toruks. This cool horse. Forgot its real name. But like the detail's crazy. Every one of those animals out here today, because they are very much wild animals. They do as they please and not as we please. But we do tend to get pretty lucky. And it looks like there's a whole bloat of hippos over there on the left. Now there are less than 5,000 black rhinos left in the entire world. So that includes in the wild as well as in captivity. this cool coffee shop called Expedition Roasters from our friend uh, Freddie who's got like a blog. He was, I was reading his articles and he posted them about it. So now I'm like looking at it all. They're kind of like just all Disney themed roasts of coffee. Oh, I get it now. Like I just the happiest brew stuff. that ever sailed. Main cool. Street, Columbia. Skipper's Brew, Roundup Roast. What's a Roundup Roast? So it's Jordan and Robert's last day here. So we're just kind of enjoying all the rides and just letting them pick whatever, whatever they want to do. Whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, so they're getting yak and yani. Quick service. We ate breakfast. So we're just going to get anything. We're going to resist. Enchanted Tiki Coconut is one of their brews. Yeah, and stock this coffee joint. Redhead Rum Coffee. Ooh. Happily never after, and it looks They're like... They're like 11 bucks each. Yeah, 11 bucks, probably for a half pound or a quarter pound. Bob Sledders Brew, I think they're California based. Cool.
we're not interrupting your regular scheduled vlog. For a proper first birthday celebration of our dog, Eve. I severely apologize for the ridiculousness of my hair these days in the vlog, but that's what happens when um, you see a good portion of it after like post a run or before, or I know I'm doing it that I don't do my hair. Long story short, our plans changed tonight. We, I really thought that we'd do that cool montage of Eve at her birthday with the interruption from your normal vlog and jump right back to Magic Kingdom. I even made fast passes tonight for Magic Kingdom, but it's now 8.30. I already did my, my, my run this afternoon. Got in five miles, so I feel really good about missing those eight days that I like kicked my running tail's butt uh, the past three days. And then so, doing something cool tomorrow at Disney. Just wait and see that. Um, if you watch yesterday's vlog, watch yesterday's vlog and you might have an idea of what I should be doing tomorrow morning. But, we're gonna binge watch a bunch of This Is Us, because Sarah and I, since we started, since we moved down here, weren't keeping up with it because we were going to the parks. So we're going to binge watch as much as we can because the big episode, big reveal is tomorrow after the Super Bowl. But I wanted to do a little ramble because I have here Gary Vanderchuk's book that I told you a week ago that I would start reading, dissecting, and giving you guys like what I think is awesome about it because it has to do with social media and branding and just being patient and a good person about like what you want to do in life. Very first thing, very first page, is dedication. This is dedicated to all the people who are visionary enough to recognize the enormous opportunities we've been given in this new digital age, and who are brave enough to demand and seek out happiness, not only in their life, but also in their work. That is like... To a T, what Sarah and I are doing right now with the Brookup Project, the podcast, the buttons, making new friends and connections, whether other YouTubers are just the lovely people who watch our, our videos, um, and just for the, for the future, for our children's future and our children's children to be able to show them what we were doing and how we were starting our family. And I even think that works for people who may not be pursuing like their dream just yet, but the fact that you're sitting here watching our video means that you already recognize and are taking hold of like this new digital age. Or the fact that we have a cousin who just moved here from Australia, but she's lived in Australia for the past 20 years. I've only seen her a handful of times, but I'm super close to her because of FaceTime. Because in this day and age, you can just talk face to face with somebody from across the world. So, it's very, I think it's a good thing that like, the world has become smaller and smaller with technology because it really shows us that there's so much good in the world in every little corner too. Of course there's bad because there's a million to eight billion of us, there's some bad people, but overall we're pretty good and we get to share that with the world. So I have to go watch This Is Us now with my best friend because it's a very difficult show to watch, but very, very good. We got a lot, a lot of it to do. We never returned to our... I already explained. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> So, about this time, 24 hours ago, I was coming back from my run. So, still pretty late, but we had a relaxing night. We didn't go out. We watched a bunch of This Is Us. We're not caught up yet, um, but that show is tolling to watch. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> but we're going to go to bed because we got an early start tomorrow. Beneath 5K. I didn't say, but that's what we're doing. It's 
good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.